Baseball Perspectives checking in again. And today, I just wanted to give a quick overview of a few of the statistics that I plan on incorporating in future videos, like WARP, True Average, and FIP. So, starting from the top, WARP stands for Wins Above Replacement Player. Now, this replacement player is a hypothetical guy, somebody who would be readily available to any major league ball club for the major league minimum via something like the waiver wire, minor league free agency, or one of those journeyman types that you have down in AAA. And what WARP is designed to measure is how much more does a player contribute, how many more wins does this player contribute above this replacement level. The major league WARP average per year is 2.0 and the replacement player isn't a very good player. He will come up and he won't contribute a whole lot. He'll probably have more glove than he does bat or he'll be one of those journeyman pitchers. And so the more warp a guy provides to his team, the more his team is likely to win and the better player he is. True average is an improvement on batting average. It's represented by TAV and what it does is it takes into account things like the park that you're batting in, what type of league you're facing, what type of batting situation are you in, did you bunt or did you strike out, so it takes all these things into account and it gives you a more concrete answer to how good is a batter. The major league average for true average is .260, so anybody below that level is a below average hitter essentially. And finally, FIP is fielding independent pitching. And it's based heavily off of Voros McCracken's work with DIPS theory, which is Defense Independent Pitching Statistics. The basis of that theory essentially says that there's only so much that a pitcher can control. He can control his strikeouts, his walk rate, and his home runs, but he can't control what his fielders do. So what FIP is designed to do is it takes the fielders out of the equation. It's focused solely on Things like the pitcher's strikeout rate, his walk totals, and how many home runs he gives up. And it gives you a good idea of how good is this pitcher and how likely will he be able to succeed. Is he pitching above or below? It's like an improvement on ERA. The major league average for FIP is 4.00. And so that's kind of like your third or fourth starter in the rotation. So that's it for today. I wanted to give a quick shout out to UCLA, who is off to the College World Series and will be facing Stony Brook on Friday. So good luck to the hometown team, I guess. And until next time, I will see you later. So.